Hundreds of nutrition workers are in the Grand Strand with the goal of making your child's lunch healthier without sacrificing taste. WMBF's Gabrielle Coriati explains how staff members are bringing balance to all school cafeterias. Getting more locally grown produce on school cafeteria menus and focusing on all the different food groups. Those are just some of the lessons that school nutrition workers from across the state are learning at this conference. The main ingredient in your cafeteria is love. Tori Gibson works within Horry County Schools. She says she wants students excited to come to lunch. And it's not just for them just coming through the lunch line and just getting food. We're, we're, we're doing an experience for them and a happy experience. Breakfast and lunch are free in Horry County Schools this year. Gibson says this is important because you don't know what's happening at home. We want to make sure all of our students get a healthy, balanced meal. Gibson is one of the hundreds of child nutrition professionals attending this weekend's school nutrition conference. Jennifer Stevenson is the president-elect of the School Nutrition Association of South Carolina. She says a focus of this year's convention is how to add flavor without adding more salt. Sodium limits are going down, um, which is big. It's because our industry has to reformulate everything and then of course you take salt out and then you know it's not as palatable so we have to come up with ways to make things more flavorful. Stevenson says other recent changes include offering flavored milk as 1% milk and the amount of whole grain needed in cafeterias. Guidelines are always changing so you know we have to adhere to those guidelines. Gibson told me they don't know yet if the free lunch will be permanent in the Horry County School District but she hopes it will be. In Myrtle Beach, Gabrielle Coriati at WMBF News.